What up, um, hope you're having a really good day. Um, I'm out here, I got the spreader on today. We are spreading some canola. This is the canola that I sprayed a couple of videos ago, sprayed the grasses out. That's starting, you can see it's starting to die off. It's looking a bit of a sick color. The canola is just starting to grow. And this week we've got a lot of rain coming, or hopefully it's gonna be a wet week anyway. So we're spreading out this urea and sulfate of ammonia mix. Sulfate of ammonia is sulfur, which plants need to grow. It's just a really good mix. We've found good results with it in the past. This is across the road from my house on the lease block. And uh, yeah, the weed pressure is relatively high in some patches. As you can see here, lots of grass. Other places, not so much. But yeah, anyway, it's looking good. And once it takes up this urea, it'll be looking really good. Right, so last year, you might remember with this spreader, we were spreading it at 18 meters. So we'd run down one side of a spray track, then in the middle, and then down the other spray track. This year, um, we spread our, sped our sp spin, eh. This year, we've sped our spinners up a bit, and we're actually spreading to 24 meters this year. So that means that we're not putting any more tracks in. We're putting the same amount of tracks in, but we're, we're spreading a bit further, so it all happens a bit quicker. Um, we're really happy with the spread pattern at 24. Um, I think it might even be better than last year at 16. Um, this is the way it all has seemed to work. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. And it's doing a good job, I think. I hope it is anyway. All right, so I didn't do much filming yesterday. And Chelsea's got the GoPro today because he's going to have a go at filming a vlog. So uh, if it's out before this comes out, search it up. It'll be a life of merit is what the channel's called. Anyway, we're into some more spreading. Dad's about to back the truck back. We've got the auger here. The tractor's over there warming up. Um, yeah, we're going to get it. So you can see this strip here. This is one strip that we re sowed and it's all coming up. It's looking all right. This urea that we're spreading on it, it will definitely help it get it growing. But it will be very interesting when we get our ag leader uh, yield mapping set up on the header to uh, see what difference that sowing time makes to the yield there. This paddock that we're spreading right now uh, it's the paddock that we harvested the vetch on. You might be able to see, probably not. There's a fair bit of volunteer vetch out here that we haven't sprayed yet. But it will be very interesting to see when it comes harvest time, the difference in yield between cutting hay and harvesting seed in a previous crop. Because I think it will be quite different. I'm not too sure, but I think it will. But anyway, that'll be a very interesting observation. Filled up again. We're back going. This paddock's actually barley, but it's next to a wheat paddock. We're going to spread it anyway, so we thought we might as well do it while we're back here. Yeah, it's looking good. Not like this auto steer. It is all over the shop today, and I can't for the life of me figure out how to get it steering better. And I know what you're thinking. Ag leader auto steer would fix that problem. And I agree, I agree. But unfortunately, we're not growing money trees out here, uh, but one day. One day we will have ag leader in everything, but right at the moment, we don't. So the old trimble was bad enough that I have actually taken over steering by hand. 
it just was all over the shop and it turns out I am doing a better job at steering than it was. So anyway, Nelly finished this paddock, then we'll be on to the next one over there. just hop out and have a look at the wheat plants they're looking really good and to be quite honest we've never really spread our crops this early before but uh, everyone around us or quite a lot of people do around us and they are having quite good results with it so it appears and so the agronomist says so we're giving it a go um, yeah it's quite early on it's not a huge plant definitely no canopy cover but yeah, I hope it works. It should should get it firing along pretty well. Um, there'll be plenty of nutrition for it there. And uh, yeah, it'll get it growing. And what it is that we're spreading is a mix of urea and sulfate of ammonia. Should just give it a good blend and keep it healthy. Filled up. I went back to the house and got a sandwich. Um, it's actually left over from Mum's cafe. If you are ever in Caniva, go and check out the Heartfelt Cafe. I got some good food. Yeah, and I'm slowly heading back to the paddock because it's actually quite hard to film and hold a sandwich and steer all at the same time. Again, we just got to put the wheel out of travel mode and we'll get going. But it still hasn't rained, surprisingly. And uh, yeah, once this slides out, hopefully it'll f finish this paddock. But once this slides out, we'll have no urea left, so it'll be knockoff time. <laughs> 